Welcome back, and in today's session, we will, we will be talking about power of a lens, its definition, its formula, and its SI unit. So the definition of power of a lens, it is defined as a measure of degree of convergence or divergence of light rays incident on it. I will be using a ray diagram to explain this further to you. As you can see here, you can see a convex lens, its principal axis, the second principal focus, F2, the optical center O, and the first principal focus, F1. An incident ray passes through the convex lens and it further passes through the second principal focus. Now you can see a deviation right here. It is called as refraction, as I'm sure you know. And here, the amount of deviation that has occurred, the degree of deviation that has occurred, that is what we call power of a lens. In the case of a convex lens, all the ray rays coming from the left side converge at one point. However, in the case of concave lens, the rays coming from the left side diverges from, from the concave lens. So they do not meet in one point, but appear to meet on the left side. Now the formula. The mathematical expression for this is that the reciprocal of focal length in meters is called power of a lens. So, power of a lens is equal to 1 divided by focal length of the lens in meters. Or, P is equal to 1 by F in meters. Now, maybe in the exam hall, the teacher gives the question, and in the question, they give the, the value of the focal length in centimeters. It is very easy, you don't need to worry, you just need to ch change or modify the formula a little bit. So I'll show you right here. Since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, we can write the formula as P is equal to 100 divided by F in centimeters. In the previous one, it was in meters and here it is in centimeters. Now, power of a lens is inversely proportional to its focal length in meters. So, higher the power of a lens, lesser is the focal length. Now, the SI unit of power of a lens is diopter. It is denoted by the capital letter D. In the case of a convex lens, a plus sign is added in front of it. So, it is plus D. Now you might ask, why did we add the plus sign? This is because the convex lens have a positive focal length. And in the case of a concave length, it is the opposite, but the same reason. Concave lens, a minus sign is put in front of D. So it is minus D or minus diopter. And this is because Concave lens have a negative focal length. So if you have further questions about the signs, why did I put the signs, then you can check out the next video on Cartesian sign convention. Or if 